What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Northern Game Pursuit. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing video of the brand new Razer Gen 3. 6 to 36 by 56. It's going to be a sweet scope. Let's check it out and see what's in the box. So first thing we got in the box, I've seen inspection card. Let's you know who inspected the scope. A little warning card here just tells you the torque to use on your scope rings. Lens cloth, vortex lens cloth. Custom tool. There's a two mil tool and a two and a half mil tool. One's for adjusting the throw lever and one's for adjusting the zero on your scope. Here's the throw lever. Nice. A battery, CR2032 I think they are. Yeah, CR2032 is nice to give you one extra. Your sunshade, three inch sunshade. I love the color on this scope. You got product manual and the reticle manual and of course you got the scope. This thing is a beauty. Again it's a 6 to 36 by 36 first focal plane Really cool color. Let's check out how these clicks feel. Those feel solid, zero mush, really audible. Sweet. Dead centered on the lines. You see a lot of times in the lower end scopes, even some higher end scopes that you're marker doesn't always line up perfectly with the numbers on your turret but this is dead on pretty sweet I'm just going to quickly go over a few of the technical specs on this scope so this has the new EBR 7D reticle comes in mil and MOA it's a brand new reticle Super clean, really useful subtensions. Gives you a nice view from the smallest magnification all the way up to the biggest. On six times, I mean, a lot of first focal plane scopes are pretty hard to see the reticle on six on your low end, but this one's nice. You can still see it good, especially when you use your illumination, of course. This has the L-Tech Zero system, so it uses one set screw, so it's super simple for a reset and zero. And it has a micro adjust zero settings, so it has infinite zero settings, which means you can actually set it in between clicks. So not just a quarter MOA, you can set, set your zero at less than your quarter MOA clicks or 0.1 mil clicks. Has an external rotation indicator here on the outside, so once you get around your first rotation, you start to see an indicator letting you know it just pops out there that you've reached your second rotation. I'm sure you guys can hear those clicks, they are nice. So it lock, the, the turret also locks, you just simply pull it up, pops up nice and easy. Put it back down to lock it again. That's cool. This also has a 
what I haven't really seen in any other scopes is a locking side illumination, which is pretty neat. So your illumination actually pops out and locks in place. It has 10 illumination settings with an off in between each one, so you can simply pop it back, pop it back in, pop it out. You want your illumination at 5, click it on, lock it again if you need. That's cool, never seen that before. It's definitely different. Ah, uh, this thing is 45.1 ounces, so it's it's no lightweight, but it, for its size and its class, it's it's not a it's not a crazy heavy scope. It's 15.3 inches long, so it's not it's not a giant scope. It fits nicely. The max elevation on this is 120 MOA or 36.1 milrad. The windage is 52.5 MOA or 15 and a half milrad. Super nice clips on the windage as well. The travel per rotation on this is 25 MOA or 10 milrad. So you're going to be able to really reach out there before you'd ever see that indicator pop out on the side. I just can't get over these clicks. They're sweet. Ah, the field of view. This has a really usable field of view. So at 100 yards, you got 20 and a half feet field of view when you're on your minimum magnification. And you still actually have three and a half feet when you're all the way up at 36 times. The parallax adjustment goes from 10 yards all the way up to infinity. So even if you wanted to throw this on a precision 22 or something, you're going to be able to read early really adjust that parallax down to nice close ranges. That's about all I got for the quick breakdown on this scope and unboxing. I'm really excited to get this on the range, see how it does. I'm going to run some box tests and I got a couple other cool targets that let you test out the, your clicks and make sure that they're accurate. So we'll get a test done up and hopefully you guys can check that video out also. So stick around. Look for that one in the future. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on those notifications, and we'll see you next time.